Mina, Konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, back with my friend, Roberto. Yeah, let's just talk to this guy here. Yeah. Life is a journey, and every journey eventually leads to home. I have no idea what the fuck he was talking about. Neither do I. I have no idea what the fuck you were talking about either. Who's that? Huh? The guy you mentioned. Roberto? Who's that? It's me. What? Oh, I, I, I heard some weird... I don't know what the fuck you said. I heard some weird there. <laughs> I am Roberto. Have seen that pit, that gaping hole that one. on the earth? I have. I don't know what it's like down below. <laughs> but I wouldn't suggest trying to find out. Not without the cat rain. Besides, you will never make it down there. Not without a ladder of some sort. So for any of the viewers wondering, I'm also eating Taco. Taco Bell, uh, he, he's a fan. I'm quite the fan. My intestines aren't dying. <laughs> the flame you see there is a bonfire. They exist all across the land, beacons to we undead. If you are tired, try resting beside the flame. The flame heals us. Okay, so uh, just like Crestfallen Knight, he's like the hub info giver. Basically. Long ago, a woman called the Firekeeper watched over each bonfire. She kept the flame lit and guarded it from those who would extinguish it. I kind of like the... I wonder where the fire keepers went. They're all in that fucking house laughing at me. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, and, and if they were supposed to protect the um the bonfire, it makes me wonder if the majority of them were actually more along the lines of that lady in brass who served um Gwendolyn. Yeah, like guardians. Like she was a fucking the... warrior. Yeah, like none fucking of, champs. None of the other fire keepers were warriors. They were just you know, they were sickly, they were mute, they were still, they were weak. They didn't really do much of anything. Um, only she put up a halfway decent fight. She was it. She can kick some ass, though. She can! Did you notice any letters on the ground on the way here? Uh-huh, uh-huh. These uh -huh. are messages that have jumped the fissures between worlds. Parallel dimensions and shit. In Drang Lake, the flow of time is convoluted. Same. Things yeah. shift and waver. Basically, twist and excuse turn. for multiplayer. Pretty much. Poignant wishes, dashed dreams, the messages convey our very inner thoughts. Including trolls. If your will to soldier on falters, try leaving a message. Somebody out there is sure to listen. You may notice symbol. Okay. These are summon no, wait, signatures. This is they call upon spirits from other worlds through the schisms in time. It's explaining multiplayer. Yeah. If you fear hollows, find some signatures to call upon spirits to help you. Do you see the way beyond the bonfire? That will take you to the forest of the giants. There was once a great fort, but little mm. of it remains. You may just find something there that will be of use on your journey. Ooh. But don't venture too far inside, or you might not come back. Oh, I'll be fine. Continues, baby. Hades Tower of Flame. This dude has a lot to fucking fuck say. It. Yeah. In the cathedral, I the think apostles I've ever of blue this gather. <laughs> the apostles but the road blue. leading there is perilous. The gate is rigged with some contraption. But how it works, I just don't know. Have you seen that? Oh, pick? fucking finally, we're having fucking shit. Besides, took it fucking long enough. Jesus Christ. Is Lord. May you find okay. peace on your journey. Wow. That was a lot of shit. So, I've, I've gone to every building now. Talk to every person. There's one more? Who have I left? To the left? That bit. Oh, hello. She's important. And she looks very elven. 
Her name is Elvin. You don't hear her name for a long time now. Are you the next monarch? Or merely a pawn of fate? Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. <laughs> Take this with you. She's the ultimate wife. May it ease your journey. The hey! Oh, yeah. Go on and see the king. He who made Drangleg what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrin. I've heard that name. By the power of the Emerald Herald? Is that what she is? Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. Ah. Uh. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. You suck, bitch. That's basically what she just said. This whole, this whole beginning is just telling you, dude, you're shit. Like, that's and the you, whole thing. You're going to die. There yeah, is no all your souls. Over and over, over again. Over and over again. You are fucked. Just give up now. Quit while you're ahead. Damn. <laughs> Seek those whose nice. names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. The Emerald Herald. Now I'm re she I'm really curious about what the fuck she's talking about. Is that a shard you found? Here, let me see it. So that I may help you. To see light. To see hope. However faint it might be. All right, so this is your level up later. Here we fucking go. You know, Dark Souls, you can level up at any bonfire. This shit, not you warp back to Majul and you level up with her. So this really is the hub of the game. This is the hub of the game. Uh, Dark Souls One is the only game that's like, oh, you could level up at any bonfire. Okay. This is the only one. That's the only one where you can level up anywhere. Demon Souls didn't like that. This didn't like that. Dark Souls Two didn't like that. Bloodborne didn't like that. Dark Souls 1 was actually the mold breaker there. And yeah, and then the mold was put back together because they're like, you know, this is fucking stupid. Bon Bonfire Chan wasn't cute enough they had to get an actual lady to level you up. Apparently. So, level up we shall. Okay, so. 997 for. So I can level up once. Your vigor. Twice. Your vigor is uh, once. Um, your vigor is solid right now. It tends a ground number to have it at in the beginning of the game. Okay. Um, endurance, you got no stamina. None. Is that why the bar goes down so fucking fast? You have none. It's okay. three. Okay. So, there's that. Um, if you put one more into strength, you can actually use your mace one-handed. Okay. Um, now if you consume some soul items, you can probably level up twice. At this point, you can only level up once. Oh, uh, well, yeah. If you once that that'll go up after the first level, and then after that goes up, I won't have enough. You're right. I can't level up twice here. Like I said, if you consume some items, you probably can. I'm try. I'm trying to remember what all this shit fucking does. All right. It's hard to remember. Well, that's all it this. highlights it over there. So like that puts your HP up and helps your petrify resistance. Okay. That puts your HP up by a little bit. Your stamina uh, is what its main thing is. It also puts a physical defense a little bit and your poise a little bit. Oh, poise as well. Does poise essentially work like in Dark Souls 1? Yes. Okay. It's gotcha. not It's not broken like in 3. Okay. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Po so poise is probably a bit on the important that's, side. That's the rumor for the final DLC. For Dark Souls 3 is going to be Havel of the First Boys. Havel of the First and it's, Boys. And it's just going to be fighting Havel the entire fucking time. But he has Dark Souls 1 Boys. This gonna... So you're fucked. <laughs> I'll say, talk about hard and unfair. You can't shake him. He is the rock. Jeez. Vitality, that is... Tr no, that's not strength. Nope, that is quick load. That's a, Okay, so that's just the stamina bar. And that's and just the equip load. Except it also affects physical defense, poison resistance, and health. But not by much. 
Attunement, slots. Oh, cast speed. Slots speed's and a thing. cast speed is a thing. Cast speed was like a silent, unspoken stat in Dark Souls. That was mainly affected by dexterity. Yeah, I'll say once your dex is at 45, you actually got the fastest cast speed. Yeah. Okay. And that also puts your curse resistance and your agility, which means you move a little bit faster. You mean like it's in my actual running and walking speed? Thanks. Really? Yeah. If you want to, you can help and scroll over to agility and I'll show you. Help is the back button. Oh, what? Help is the back button? The search. Oh, select. B. No, not the. Alright. Level up. Try this again. Hit select. Sorry, it's called different. Alright, yeah, now scroll over to agility. Oh. Back oh, one more. Hey, oh, what? Well. Boost ease of evasion and other. Alright, so you roll faster. And do some stuff faster. Ease of evasion and other actions. I'm assuming it means you roll faster and you drink your essence faster. That's probably what it means. Okay. But it doesn't affect it by much. The main one for the agility is going to be adaptability. Look at all that shit! Oh, that does a lot. But then again, you, and you said resistances are actually somewhat important in this game. In terms of armor, not your stat resistances. Okay. I'm talking about, like, you'll get armors that are good for certain shit. Well, just, I'm gonna, it's going to take some time just to remember what this new system is. Uh, Do you want my recommendation? Oh, go for it. I would say pop some soul items, put a point into endurance, and a point into strength. That is what I would say. So you, I'll say, well, yeah, the stamina is going down awfully quick. So that's not and a And another idea. reason that it's going down awfully quick is because you're two-handed. Oh, so that will affect it as well. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, actually, that was the case in Dark Souls 1 as well. That part was true. So, what soul items do I have would be the first question. Let's go ahead and use strength now. Yep, only once. So, strength once. Let's just go ahead and do that. So, now, if you one-hand that mace... Is that a feather? Yes. She's, like, held a feather over me. Yep. So, now, if you uh, one-hand that mace, we'll use a lot less stamina. Okay. All right, so now, I, yeah. Or, or actually hit Upgrade Essence Flask. Remember that shard that you found in the well? In that corpse? Yes. Yeah, give it to her. And now you have two Estus Flasks. Instead of just one. Estus Flask strengthened. Okay, and does she say anything or... You do not have Estus Flask. Okay, she doesn't say anything. Oh. Okay. Did, we haven't exhausted her talk dialogue yet, have we? No, but I, I'd say level up. Just do that first. Okay. Yeah. One last thing to remember. Right, don't hit her. Yeah, no, I was I was gonna say killing your bonfire would be bad. You know how they your, you know how they do that? Blood. How? If you kill her. Yeah. To my knowledge, you can't upgrade your Estus anymore. You can still level up, but every time you level up, it'll cost like a percentage of your souls. You'll go to a statue of her and you'll pray, and you have to spend a certain amount of souls to then level up. Okay. So they're like, all right, yeah, you can still level up, but you're fucked. Like, so <laughs> it, it's a lot harder to do. In other words, where are those soul items at? It's an inventory. Oh uh, yeah, uh, one of the big ones. Just one of those? Yeah, that'll give you. Like, oh yeah, you can use multiple items in this game. That at is a beautiful time. thing. Yeah, it is. So you that to, is a beautiful thing. You don't have thing. to sit there for thirty minutes giving fucking Quailana and Isol like, thirty humanities. It's. Bearer of the that, that was the worst talking about. Seek souls. Larger, more Seek the king, lest this land swallow you whole. As it that was kind of a new message, but oh well. Level up again. You'll hear that message so many fucking times, better. Probably. Um, and endurance just because. So, my HP, my stamina, um, that is. Oh, that's just equip load. Nothing but equip load. Well, I mean, it also boosts. The standard set, but don't do that. Yeah, well, yeah, equivalent's the main thing. Yeah, that's that's the big that it does. The number of spells and it affects your casting speed a little bit as well. Strength for strength weapons, dex for dex weapons, adaptability for, for rolls. For, they're for your rolls. That's for rolling. But since I'm going to go for a paladin build, that's actually not an incredibly important stat for me. That one doesn't. Oh, really... You want to put up a little bit? A little bit? On oh, my pure strength tank characters. Yeah. I have my adaptability at 10. Okay, so you level it up a just little a little bit. Even though you're not... Because in this game, you're not really... You, there's only fast roll and fat roll. 
all the um, adaptability, it increases it increases your invincibility frame. So you're during you're invincible for more of the roll. Yeah, it also increases the amount uh, or uh, increases the speed at which you drink your essence. Oh, that's very specific. So, but you, you generally keep unless you're going for a full de with a dex build, you would also want adaptability so you can roll and dodge. But that's not the character I'm planning on playing as in this game. Right. So intelligence, magic, faith, that could actually be important. And miracles don't completely suck in this game. Well, I mean, they, they suck more than they used to. They used to be overpowered as bullshit. Like, oh, yeah. two fucking lightning spears would take out a boss. Which is Like, it used stupid. to be turns. Good. Yeah, yeah. Like, you were stupid to not play a paladin, honestly. But now then they were like, alright, let's make everything suck. So now everything kind of sucks, except for strength. Is strength still pretty dark? Strength is the... It's the best one. Really? Strength is still... In Dark Souls 2, it's probably the one you're going to want to go for. It's the one... Okay. Dark Souls 3, they switched it up a little bit. I was expecting strength. Because, you know, 1 was strength, Demon Souls was strength, 2 was strength. Yeah. Bloodborne was dex, that's Bloodborne. Yeah. I get into 3, I'm like, oh, okay, strength. I'm going to pump strength. Oh, no, quality weapons are the shit in this game. Aha. So then I had to fucking respec. Yeah. Put on, fucking make a quality character. This is stupid. <laughs> I want, I want my fucking poise back. <laughs> so many people complain about the poise. <laughs> the people are still complaining about the poise. It's if they released, still happening. if they released Havel with essentially super armor, that would be the greatest shot to the nuts that From Software could give to the community. And because it's them, they would do it. They would fucking do it. No. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. yeah, a little more stamina does sound like actually a good idea. That. Oh, by the way, while we're on this screen, which we're not in a second, we'll go back to the screen here in just a minute. Keep talking. I want, what are the soft... What's the soft cap for these? Oh, fuck! Um... I think everything is 40. Like, every stat soft cap is 40. I see, so you can, just like in Dark Souls 1, you can do it to 99. Past 40 is not really going to make much of a difference. I think everything is 40 except for strength, which is 50. Oh, that's interesting. It has a slightly higher cap. I believe. Okay. I, I, all I know is that every character I have that's doing strength, I put it up to 50. Okay. So. Gotcha. Alright, so 40 and 50. Um, with I, dark I, I think the soft cap is 40, but to use the best shield in the game, you need 50 strength. Okay. And gotcha. if you're making a paladin, you're gonna want to use great shields. Yeah. Because great shields are the tits in this game. In this game. They are amazing. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'll say, well, the paladin build that I was planning on looks like that was a pretty. I didn't it know wasn't it wasn't a be, bad choice. I didn't know it was gonna be as good a choice as it was. And of course, I'm, it's still yet to see how my play style will go as far as being a good paladin or not. We'll we'll see how that goes. Like I said, let's get a little bit more. If uh, you end up hating it, you can always respect. You know, up to eight times per um, play play playthrough. So that's cool. Let's talk to her one more time. Over the hill and past the forest is, is the king's castle. Where a man peered straight into the essence of the soul. But whatever came of it. Those who come to Drang Lake seeking salvation soon lose hope and turn hollow. It happens to them all. Sooner or later. That blue knight at the base of the tower, his spirit is already broken. True. Although he does offer sound advice. True. Perhaps he is a foreshadowing of your own future. Damn! This game wastes no time <laughs> no. in telling you you're fucked. I'm sad now, though. I'm out of tacos. I'm very terribly sorry. All you nice people out there should buy me tacos. You should help this fat ass get even fatter. He'll greatly appreciate it. That tiny thing inside the ruins. An ancient being that will mock your very existence. She imparts sound wisdom. Provided you find her on a good day. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Dick cheese. <laughs> Truth is painful, isn't it? I'm not. I was gonna give you this Jolly Rancher, but I'm gonna fuck you. 
Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button. I really hope you're enjoying the four episodes in a row of nothing but talking. Yeah. So all this has been is talking. There's an hour and 40 minutes worth of recording of talking. It's beautiful. <laughs> for you, this is why people don't like this game. Wait, this... This keeps happening past the beginning of the game? I don't know. I will say that a lot of people, when this game first came out, a lot of people were on forums like, Why is there so much bullshit in Majula? Well. You don't get straight into the action. There's a lot of talking and It's a lot learning. of bullshit. It's a whole lot of bullshit. Bullshit. It's a whole bullshit. Bullshit. If you really like it, be sure to share with a friend, subscribe, and join the freaks! I love you. God bless.